Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 15th, 2020. So what do we got going on here this morning? Well, we have kind of an interesting situation. We have a market that tried really, really hard to go up yesterday. Um, there was a concerted effort to push in the Dow to, to get it to move, and it eventually uh, did breakthrough pushing two new record highs and during that period of time they were kind of fighting along here with um, the the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq and it actually lifted those out of kind of some morning doldrums and uh, turned into a uh, nice positive morning or a nice positive day but then all of a sudden we kind of slipped. Um, there was the uh, basically the remembering, I guess. Um, everyone knew this, um, but I guess it was a reminder that um, although we are signing a phase one trade deal, the tariffs will stay in place until they have confirmation, I guess, that China is going to comply with the phase one trade deal and possibly even hold those all the way through into the phase two the beginning of the phase two trade deal which may not occur until after the presidential election so kind of an interesting situation going on here and um, that means that we have uh, twice attempted that 29,000 level in the Dow only to be rejected up there so maybe a little bit of bear activity up there but so far if you look at the overall trend of the chart um, there really is nothing here yet to worry about um, bullish trend is in play in fact what I would say is that we're consolidating up here we're consolidating in this nice tight range and who knows that may continue now of course we have a lot of earnings um, some big earnings reports market moving earnings reports uh, today that could help provide some inspiration to the upside we'll look at that in just uh, a moment let's take a look at the spy spy yesterday finished pretty darn flat about where it opened just leaving behind this little doji pattern little almost like a shooting star type doji pattern maybe even a, a, I, w I wouldn't call it a gravestone doji we didn't move enough to really get that going but let's uh, be fair here and realize that trend is still in place so we could just be kind of parking here for a little bit resting as we wait for some inspiration in the market and who knows right now bulls are still in control trends are still up but it does appear like the bull may be weakening just a little bit maybe running out of um, energy here a little bit and not a big surprise just in the sense that we have moved up a tremendous amount it's going to be really hard for companies to report strong enough to support some of these prices and um, we're going to have to just watch that pretty closely so be careful out there and try not to over trade this market or get caught up in the hype of the day because that could really create some issues let's take a look at the cues cues pretty much the same thing just a little bit more of a bearish pullback but nothing uh, in fact uh, nothing in there that's particularly bearish at all we're just kind of um, drifting toward the upside here as you can see there's that little sideways drift up toward the upside and everything's still looking good here and pretty copacetic um, overall in this trend um, on the Nasdaq so at least at this point no reason to worry but there is some signs out there to be just a little bit cautious and careful now interestingly enough IWM having been struggling here somehow found inspiration yesterday really got fired up and we tested this downtrend and actually broke through that downtrend to the upside question is will it be able to hold that and and we're watching it pretty closely here and as you can see holding on to this price support that i mentioned yesterday so if that can hold up in here iwm helping out the overall market trying to lift things up it's a good sign good sign that um, those small caps are trying to hang in there so let's take a look at the vix Interestingly enough, the VIX had a little bit of a pop-up yesterday when we caught that 
Uh, well, I guess kind of a little bit of um, surprising, uh, kind of surprised me that the market seemed to be shook up by the idea that uh, uh, that tariffs were still going to be in place. And um, with that in mind, um, what happened is we spiked up there for a little bit um, with some fear, um, I guess just in remembering that. And as you can see, looking here in the VIX, um, dropping back down toward the end of the day, we saw that bullish activity continue to hold up in here. Possibly some compl um, complacency um, in this market could be forming, so we're going to want to be really careful on that. Just watch that close. But right now, really nothing here suggesting much in the way of fear um, at all for the market. Let's take a look at T21. 22. Now, T2122, early in the day, we had that T2122 pushing right up into here. And with that little bit of pullback in the day, we kind of ended with T2122 just kind of camping out here. Uh, not too, I mean, pretty sharp move up yesterday. And um, we still have upside potential in this chart if we can find that inspiration today to move up to the upside now one of the things i i failed to mention when we were looking at the indexes is that futures had traded lower all night long so futures were trading uh, bearishly all night long and as we get closer and closer to the market open it seems like every day anymore in fact it's kind of a relentless thing every day anymore we get that pre-market pump up it's like everybody rushing or um, institutions pumping up trying to uh, draw every single penny they can into the market so we're getting that pump up again this morning but um, we want to make sure that we remember that although we have upside potential here we're going to be running into some severe overbought conditions even here on t2122 doesn't mean we can't continue to go up but just keep in mind that we still have that pretty sizable potential that we could move lower so watch that close and plan your trading carefully one of the things that i mentioned yesterday and i'm going to continue to repeat that is to be very very careful not to over trade this market um, why we try to figure out this top that we're dealing with right now. Let's take a look and uh, um, if looking at the um, the futures right now, Dow futures are down 35 points. We've already had um, earnings reports from Goldman Sachs and Goldman Sachs reported well, but you can see that we're not getting a, a real happy response from Goldman Sachs this morning. So um, kind of interesting that um, we're not getting that really good, happy response, even though they reported very well today. And I think it's largely because, um, you know, um, trade the rumor, sell the news kind of thing, where we rallied really, really strongly in Goldman in anticipation of earnings. And now that the earnings have come out, we know what they are, maybe getting a little bit of softness coming in. We have uh, BAC. Uh, Bank of America still yet to report this morning, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, I I don't see any, um, or at least I'm not seeing any movement in that stock to suggest that um, it is there. Um, um, United Health UNH is um, one of the stocks that report today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. BLK BlackRock looks like they've reported and they're moving just slightly higher this morning so quite a few earnings reports uh, market moving type earnings reports that can really push us around we'll want to keep a close eye on those as they continue to come out dow futures continue to remain lower as i speak but they're trying to move higher at this very second um, dow futures down only 30 points um, um, s&p 500 futures down just two points and nasdaq futures have actually clicked over just into the positive so a little bit of mix going on here um, in the futures as they try to push in this pre-market. So with that, let's um, take a look at our economic calendar here. Our economic calendar, we do have a few things coming out this morning that could move the market. Notice that we have the PPI report. That's probably the biggest potential moving report today. Um, I don't think anyone's expecting a terrible number here, so um, I wouldn't 
I wouldn't expect this to be a real major market mover. It'll be those earnings. It'll probably be more than that. Empire State Manufacturing Petroleum Status Report. We do have the beige book down here. And please keep in mind, we have uh, more Fed speakers out there. I doubt we learn anything more from them, but let's keep an eye on it. Just the same, just in case something slips out. And uh, we'll want to be aware that they are out there speaking this afternoon. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could um, click that subscribe button on YouTube. Just kind of smash it down there. And <laughs> then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. You know, we continue to grow this channel and, and it's a wonderful thing to see the comments on the channel. Um, are very, very humbling. Thank you very much. Um, I do the best job I can in putting um, good quality content out to help everyone focus on the key elements for the day to avoid the emotion and to really think about how you want to approach the market for today. And if you find these videos to be helpful, if you could also do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. That helps uh, tremendously as well in continuing to uh, get the growth um, in the channel. So thank you everyone. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. So with that, let's take a look at a few stocks setting up. Now, um, I'm going to show you a stock that I traded yesterday and it was kind of a rare thing for me. Um, to to do this but overstock.com is another one of those rounded bottom breakout patterns and you've heard me talk about these rounded bottom breakout patterns here recently and that rounded bottom breakout pattern is that stock that's been pushed down significantly and we push up through that 50 day moving average and that 50 starts to round up notice our shorter term averages moving up and i identified this stock um, early on yesterday placed a price alert on the chart and as i've said um, make the trade come to you. Uh, don't anticipate the trade, make the trade come to you. So I placed a price alert, caught that trade, and I ended up selling this trade um, yesterday as well, which is rare for me. I rarely do um, a day trade like that. But this thing took off and moved up. I was up 22% in my option contracts. And with that market showing that little bit of weakness, I thought, you know what, um, no reason to push my luck here. Just take some nice money out of that trade. So there's a beautiful little trade in that round of bottom breakout and a great example that um, might be something um, you're interested in following and that is the same kind of thing that um, CGC uh, came together with is that CGC rounded bottom breakout now this took a little bit longer to produce and to really produce some profits but you can see finally rounding that 50-day moving average over very profitable trade for us on right way options and remaining quite strong here so um, everything's looking good in that chart we're uh, very very happy in that trade um, Etsy is another one of those type of patterns. Notice that Etsy breaking above that 50 day moving average and we're starting to push higher here, breaking into this gap. Um, right way options is also holding this Etsy trade. We're up, uh, we just, we're just having a really, really good week here um, in these RBB patterns and they're really, really healthy, really strong and something to pay attention to. Um, Take a look at um, ANF, Abercrombie Finch. Abercrombie is still setting up. This is one of those bottoming patterns um, that can happen over a period of time. You can see a big down move and we bounced around down in here and um, building out this bottom. And you can see we're pushing up into a resistance level in the chart. I want to keep an eye on this. The, the reason I watch trades like this is as they push that resistance, push against that resistance, we've got these rising lows in here uh, providing that pressure. So although this could continue to wander around in here for a while, I would watch Watch that for that potential of breaking through to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. There's lots of good charts everywhere. And one of them that's uh, another one of the uh, cannabis socks 
that is becoming pretty darn interesting is Crone. Crone moving up nicely here, breaking the 50 day moving average. You can see we've made that break. Now here's what's really important about this. One of these, one of the things that's really important about the round of bottom breakout. You don't anticipate this move. Notice how you can break that 50 and then fail to hold it. What we want to see is that break of the 50 and that proof that we can hold in here and we look for that next entry into the trade. We want to hold trend and hold that 50 and look for that next entry into the trade. And all we're looking for in these is just some kind of a reversion to the mean, just coming back up about halfway in this sell off. And so up around this 200 is the target um, in a trade like that. So why Watch that close, it's looking pretty good and may come back around. A chart that I've mentioned before that we might want to keep an eye on, and it had a ugly um, selling um, candle yesterday, is Weight Watchers. But here's the thing in Weight Watchers, we're still holding on to this trend. So we broke this downtrend right here, broke this downtrend rallied up sharply, hit that price resistance, and now we're pulling back to trend. So in holding this trend, as long as we hold that trend, I think we're still in pretty good shape, even though we had that ugly candle in there. This is one of those seasonal stocks that um, everyone, as you head into the new year, um, uh, everyone starts worrying about their summer body and getting back into shape. Weight Watchers is one of those companies that benefits from that. And let's watch this. If this can hold this support in here, may have to bounce around in here a little bit more. Let's watch to see if that has that opportunity to pop on through and move on higher. Another place you might want to look is, well, the pretty obvious, I guess. Take a look at some of these bank stocks that reported very, very well yesterday. And although they popped up and pulled back. Um, I kind of like um, Citibank here holding at least at the close, holding this little price support in here. And if that can kind of rest or consolidate in here, there may still be opportunity for upside in Citibank. Might be worth keeping an eye on that chart. Uh, pretty decent looking chart. Take a look at Home Depot. Home Depot has been moving up in this nice little nice little trend. I'm sorry, I've got this kind of colorful here in appearance because I laid out a couple trades on this yesterday for folks. But we're rallying up in here pretty nicely. And as you can see, um, we're holding this nice little trend. And as we move up here, we're testing a price resistance in this chart that's fairly significant. So we want to watch that price resistance here. But as we push back, this is a very comfortable, nice little pushback going on right now. In fact, what we call this is a pullback opportunity. And that little pushback in here, if that can hold trend or even slip over here toward more of a consolidation, and continue to fire on up. We might want to keep an eye on Home Depot in that chart. Looking pretty decent overall, one to pay attention to. Um, another one to uh, keep an eye on would be Coca-Cola. Coke breaking through this all-time high resistance here, popping through and yesterday pulled back, tested that as support. Now this is one of those places, this is one of those old boring companies that has a pretty decent dividend yield that folks may go to if they start seeing a little bit of getting a little bit nervous in the market, thinking that we're a little bit pushed out of shape here uh, to the upside and there may be some, uh, some downside coming, they may start seeking some of these dividend paying stocks. And those dividend paying stocks like Coke, pretty old company. Everybody's going to continue to drink Coke forever, even if the market starts getting shaken up. And um, if that can hold up in here, if that can hold a rest even up in here, um, we might want to be watching that for a potential uh, follow through to the upside. Coke looking pretty good. Another might be Pfizer, PFE. Pfizer had a really good day yesterday. And as you guys know, I've mentioned this over the last uh, few days, um, uh, this possibility where we're in this rising trend and we're pushing this resistance area in the chart. Notice that we have a gap above that could be filled. So breaking through there yesterday, one of the things I wouldn't want to do is chase this much, but any rest consolidation or pullback in here could give us that opportunity for an entry 
and a trade to the upside. So keep an eye on that chart. Looking pretty good overall. Um, big, some of the big techs, big stuff out there like Microsoft. Got to be careful with these. Microsoft uh, putting in a little bit of a dark cloud cover yesterday. Um, Microsoft still heading into earnings and could still rally some toward earnings. But I think some of these have really pushed themselves out a little bit far here. So watch them closely. The same thing with Apple. Um, Apple just really stretching itself up. If we look at a weekly chart, just notice this last run this last run in Apple from this swing low down here around 195, 200 to 312 with really no stop. And if you look closely, really only two black candles in that entire move. That would tell me that we have pushed this maybe to the limit and we'll want to be watching that pretty closely for that potential. So keep an eye on those, but I would be really careful in, in trading those. They still have upside potential as we have into those earnings reports but let's watch those pretty closely because they could start to show a little bit of a problem there possibly a little bit of faltering and we'll want to um, stay focused on that uh, I was looking at VLO here now VLO is kind of an interesting trade an interesting idea in that it was trying to break this downtrend and I really still think that there's a possibility breaking that downtrend holding it as support that that could bounce off it's a pattern I trade a lot but when I look at the moving averages I have to look at the possibility that this could be failing at its 50-day moving average and failing at this price resistance so this is one of those charts that could really go both directions Keep an eye on that closely. Bolero might be one to put on your watch list. And I'm sorry, everyone, I've gone long this morning. Um, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Once again, do me a favor. If you haven't done that, done it yet, just click that subscribe button and click that bell icon. I want to wish you all the very, very best. Have a very profitable day. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day, everyone.